Hey everyone, how's it going? So it is, let's see, 11.30 on a Tuesday. And um, I just got back from dropping off the child and putting the other one down for a nap. And I thought maybe we'd take a look at my makeup collection. My makeup collection is a very big part of who I am. And I feel like when you look through someone's makeup collection, you can kind of get a better idea of what their personality is like. So, hang on tight, because we're going to go look. All right, everyone, so this is where I put my makeup. Unfortunately, I don't have a vanity yet, but um, we'll start here. So, I normally have, like, all sorts of miscellaneous stuff just chilling on the bottom here, but... I have a lipstick tower. This is for like the shorter lipsticks. Some of my favorite, favorite formula for matte would be the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. I also really love the Tattoo Junkie Lip Paint. I have a few of those. And I also really love and newly discovered the MAC Retro Matte Liquid. This one is Young Attitude. It's not focusing here. There we go. But um, I'm going to be picking those up. I'm going to be picking more of them up. And I have the Sugar Pill Limited Edition Pumpkin Spice. I also have the eyeshadow. You'll see that in a minute. And then I have a growing collection of MAC lipsticks. So like High Love. I think this one's Taupe. And Stone. So Stone is like my favorite one, but I want to get Velvet Teddy. And I have Wet n Wild. So these are really good too. I have Bare It All. The only thing I don't like is they don't go down any further than this. So I'm constantly like, see that? I'm constantly getting lipstick on the cover. And then these are Maybelline. These aren't bad, but I feel like because I have colored lips, they're more of like a thinner consistency and I'm not getting as good a coverage as like the Wet n Wild or the MAC. What else? I don't have too much else. Okay. And I've got Milani metallic liquid lipsticks here. And then I have some of these lip glosses and I really love glitter. I don't know if you can see this, but these are from, oh look, yeah, you can tell I've used it, Anake. I think is how you pronounce it. Here we go. She is an Etsy seller and her glosses are really, really nice and pigmented and full of glitter. Full of glitter. And then I have another lipstick tower for my longer lipsticks. So I have some Kylie up here. I have like Kylie glosses. And then while I was buying the Kylie glosses. Oh, damn, Gina is probably my favorite. I really want Sugar Plum. I wish they'd sell it as a single. I also got three of her um, metallics for free. Uh, King K. And then I got two other ones. I'll go more into more in depth with my lipstick collection, like my lip collection later. Um, I have some Becca, but. <laughs> I will tell you, like, as beautiful as this is, the smell just turns me off. This one is uh, Topaz Gilt. Topaz Chinese Gilt or whatever. And I have ColourPop. And I have more ColourPop. These are the metallics. These are the glosses. Then I have ColourPop Lippy Primers, which are great for under any kind of bullet lipstick as well as the lippy sticks um, and I just I mostly have some nudes and some reds the matte X is the best formula out of them and then Ziggy is probably my favorite one out of that the creme is amazing I love the I'm yours and like the only you creme so then I have my long wear section like from here up. I just kind of threw this gloss in. This is a gloss I'm testing. Check out that video. That's my Influencer Luxe Box unboxing. And then I have Beauty Bakery Lip Whips. 
These are amazing. They're so good. This one is Rosie Posey, Rose Posey, I don't know. Um, and then I am testing out lip scents. So I have some of those and I'm testing out the Maybelline Superstay 24 color. And then I have some more color pop. These are the satin, ultra satin liquid lips. And they're nice. They're just a basic liquid lip. And then I have my brush set. This thing is freaking amazing. Look at that. And it stands on its own. Oh yeah. Let me know if you want to know where I got my brush holder from. It's called a brush folio. So freaking convenient for travel. I just pop it right next to me when I'm in the truck and it doesn't go anywhere. None of my brushes fall out. And then these are all the palettes that I currently have. I have the Morphe 35F, Morphe 35S. Then I have an empty palette. This is my Tarte, Tartist Pro Glow Face. I took out the cream contour in there because I don't really like it. I don't use cream contour. I have oily skin. And then these are like some of my ColourPop, some Makeup Geek, some Coastal Scents. Mostly Coastal Scents though. Then I have... Juvia's Place, here, 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 and here. Juvia's Place has some of the best eyeshadow formula. So good. And they're so affordable. I always catch them when they're on sale. So the Nubian 2, the Masquerade, the Saharan, and the Nubian. And I have just like a miscellaneous eyeshadow, empty eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. And I've got like some Kat Von D that I had to repress, some Makeup Geek, some Coastal Scents, some samples from Smashbox and Too Faced, and one color pop in there. I'm going to this later. I'm just trying not to get it too messy in here because I like everything in order. And then I have the ColourPop Gimme More palette. This is nice, but um, it they do tend to be like more glittery. So if you're not into glitter, I'm not sure that you're going to like that. Let's take these down. And then I have the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. Let's open this one. I mean, because honestly, these are some of my favorite colors. And you can see that I've only dipped into it a couple times. I haven't done a whole lot of looks with it. I've been saving it for fall. So you're going to see more looks with that. And then contour for face. And then the eye palette. The shade and light from Kat Von D. Amazing, amazing formula from Kat Von D. I mean, honestly. Her stuff is top of the line. And then I have the Modern Renaissance. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Too Faced Sweet Peach. And then another one of my absolute favorites. I'm a sucker for glitter. Hold on a second. This. The Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. <sighs> Look at that. And that satisfying magnetic look. I love it. Heavy duty packaging. And then I have the very coveted Master Palette by Mario and Anastasia Beverly Hills beautiful, beautiful palette, if I can get it open. Okay, here we go. As you can see, I've really only lightly dipped into that as well. That's a more of a fall palette. My collection is uh, very new. I just got a lot of my makeup like within the last year. This is an Empty Makeup Geek palette where I depotted some eyeshadow. It's all nudes in there. The Kat Von D Alchemist. This is so cool. I use it as a highlighter and then I use it to change like my lip colors. This is the um, Tarte Reinforced OC Volume 1. And those are nice. The Tarte Lit by Tarte. 
that one's good too for all matte cool tone. And then the Tartlet in Bloom is really beautiful. It's very, very transitional. Like I feel like you can wear it. Um, let me open it here. See if I can, this is just kind of like a, take you guys out of my shirt there. Um, this is just a great palette because I feel like there's enough tone in here to go a little bit cool, a little bit neutral, and then warm as well. But I feel like you can take it into multiple seasons, and that's what I really like about it. I use it spring, summer, and fall, and you know, winter, of course, too. So, so that's it for palette. Then I keep, um, the skincare that I'm currently using, I keep up here or that I'm like trying to use. My favorite would be the Sunday Riley Luna oil. It's like a nighttime sleeping oil. It's great for people with, um, oily skin. And then the CEO from Sunday Riley is really good. Uh, this is new. That's a sample. This check out my influencer unboxing to know what this is and I'll be doing some follow-ups on some of this stuff too and then the lactic acid treatment from Sunday Riley the good jeans oh my gosh amazing and then if you have oily skin and you're looking for a light hydration that shouldn't clog your pores because um, it's water-based and it shouldn't make you more oily again because it's water-based tart drink of H2O it's a really good one and then I have some perfumes back here. And then I have ColourPop. I have a lot of ColourPop. My daughter and I share ColourPop. So you're going to see like some purples and some blues and some pinks. And those are her colors. I don't really wear any of that. Just doesn't look good on me. And some more uh, ColourPop. And then my favorite eyeshadow formula is the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow. Urban Decay has really great eyeshadows. They're expensive, but they're really great. Really, really great. And now we've got my face. My favorite foundation right now is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm wearing 235 right now. And then I just kind of uh, contour and add a little bronze but otherwise that's like a perfect match for me um i have the maybelline instant age rewind eraser and i have tart shape tape concealers cover fx these are like perfect pressed powders i use them as setting powders like under eye and all over the face my favorite primer right now is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, Pore Minimizing, Oil Free. Um, I currently am using the Too Faced 24 Hour Anti Crease Shadow Insurance. Do you really like that? And then anytime I have like a shimmer shadow or a glitter shadow or a glitter, I use NYX Glitter Primer. Freaking amazing, and it's only like $6. So definitely check that out. And I have some cover FX here too. Um, it is nice, but it doesn't like to play well with like some of my other concealers and stuff. And I have to use the eyeshadow on my nose in order to get the cover FX to stay on my nose. And then I have some unique beachfront bronzers. I really like their bronzer. It's good. That's why I have two. And then I have ColourPop Blush, Super Shock Cheek, Between the Sheets. That's a good one. I don't do cream blush a whole lot because, you know, again, oily skin. Um, and then I have the Milani Rose Blushes. So, Tea Rose. This one's more of like a nude. Romantic Rose. Then I have Blossom Time Rose. This one's really good. I mean, uh, they're all really good, but... And then I have Coral Cove. And then I have a Unique Moodstruck Minerals 
blush and seductive that one's really good i used to wear that one all the time and then i have highlighters <laughs> these are all my single highlighters i kind of have a lot um i know i'm sorry i'm like terrible at this whole vlog thing going all over the place and they're all messed up but anyway i have a ton of color pop ones my favorite color pop highlighter is let me see if i can find it wisp and that's what i am wearing today it's my favorite one otherwise if you are more pale flexitarian is going to give you the most blinding highlight ever and of course i have the oh so popular and somewhat controversial. Let's see if I can open it. Oh, oh no. Okay, I can't open it. <laughs> I have Champagne Pop. So, now that I have it, I feel like it looks really yellow on me. And I don't wear it ever. Which is such a bummer because I was so excited for it. And now I have Jeffree Star. These things are huge, man. And they're so good. Skin Frost in Siberian Gold. King Tut. Ice Cold. And Peach Goddess. Those are really, really good. But I find they work best with the Anastasia A23 brush. And then I have just a little cup full of brushes over here, and I really like these, but I don't use like a thick foundation, and I don't use cream contour, so I pretty much don't use them anymore at all, which is a shame, because they're really nice. Got them off Amazon. They're like the Artiste brush knockoff, and but they're still nice. And then, back here, got some fun stuff. So... I really love the glitter from like the, hold on, let me focus this, Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. The glitter side is bomb. I love using this like on my inner corner. Topaz Twinkle is what this one is. Not so crazy with the cream shadow, like it has to be really, really thin, otherwise it gives you like alligator skin eyes. Then I have a bunch of, um, pencils back here. It's like lip pencils. My favorite formula, I think uh, MAC for sure has fantastic lip pencils. Um, so does ColourPop. And the only problem with ColourPop is once you sharpen them, they like fall out. So I have a ton of ColourPop liners. Other really good liners are Sephora. The Sephora brand. The Crayon Contour Waterproof. These are freaking amazing. They won't go anywhere at all. The ColourPop has like some fun metallic eyeliners. So this one is Kicker and Get Paid. But yeah, I have a ton, a ton of these lip pencils and I like never use them and I totally should because they are good. So I have Faded and Chi. Oh, there we go. Anyway, I have just a ton of those. Um, so some other things that I love for my face. The B6 spray from Urban Decay. So and then the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is classic setting spray. I don't know what it is with this new sprayer. Mm -mm. I'm like not having it. But this is like more my um, my winter one where my skin's a little more dry. Then the D Slick I use like during the spring and summer and early fall when it's still warm out because I'm oily. And I also love using the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water from Mario Badescu. I think I, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Whatever. This is great for toning the skin, minimizing the pores, and um, helping keep your acne down. Because when you get oily, you often get acne. Just a little tip there. So, and then this, this is a really good mascara. Um, 
but I don't think it's like $26 good because you know what? There's a lot of other drugstore brands that are just as good and they don't burn my eyes. This one like starts to burn my eyes after a while and that's a shame. What I really do love is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and I'm really excited to try the Lash Paradise one. I really want to try that one. Um, and then this one I was trying out too, the Voluminous Butterfly. This one just doesn't have enough like volume for me. This one's strictly like length and separation. And although it's kind of kind of good for the lower lash line, the brush is really big. Let me open it. The brush is like super big. See that? So it I mean it's kind of nice for lower lash line, but if you're not careful, like you're gonna hit yourself with those big old spikes right there. And it's a very thin formula too, which is kind of nice for lower lash line. And then I have recharged the Urban Decay Moon Dust Liquid Eyeshadow. This stuff is really good. You just want to be careful though because um Basically with any liquid eyeshadow or like um, thicker liquid eyeshadow, you can get alligator skin eyes and trust me, it's not a cute look. And then I've got a little sample of Marc Jacobs lipstick. I'm sorry, I'm doing this with my phone. I'm doing this with my phone and I don't have autofocus, so I'm really trying for you guys. And hmm, what color is this? Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I have actually not tried that on. I should wear that. Something I also really recommend, the Sills Booster XL. This. This stuff is really good. It's from Lancome. It makes my mascara look amazing. And I like to use it underneath all of those mascaras to give me extra volume and boost and like thickness. Just... It's so good. It is so good. And like it doesn't clump or anything. Um, it dries down mostly clear with kind of like a milky-ish color, but mostly clear. And then in these I have like hair ties and bobby pins and like some homemade lip scrub and like my contacts. And then this just kind of miscellaneous stuff. My actual waterproof mascara. And then these are my travel makeup bags. I have two of them, I know, I'm kind of bougie. Um, so like in this one I usually keep like tools, like a mirror, a brush. This is a really good sharpener from Unique. Um, I kind of broke my little thingy though. It rounds out your eye pencils or your lip pencils so you don't get that super sharp point and then it like breaks off. No, it like rounds it for you and it's really good. Expensive, but good. And then I keep, oh here's my other beauty blender. Okay, those need to get washed, but keep like extra tissues and chapstick and blotting stuff and my Urban Decay Deuce Look Spray, just in case I forget to set my place. And then I just throw in um, like whatever makeup I'm wearing for the day like I would throw a lipstick in I would throw a mascara in I would throw like a beauty blender in or a brush in which actually I think I have a brush in here I do I have this cool one it's a retractable face face brush from eco tools it's pretty freaking cool let me just go back and it's nice and handy and then, this is something I should do more of, honestly. Honestly, 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 I should wear, oh here, I got this cute pouch for free when I got, when I ordered some of my lip scents. I should wear oh, more lashes. So this is from Beth Bender Beauty. I, when I first started out um, as a makeup artist, I grabbed these eye stencils and eyebrow stencils um, just to kind of help me make sure that I was getting everyone's eyebrows perfectly. It's one thing to do them on yourself. It's another thing to do them on another person. 
And because I was doing photo shoots, I felt like, you know, they had to be perfect every time while I tried to perfect my craft. And um, they also save you a lot of time when you're doing photo shoots too. So, and then I also have some Ardell Demi Wispies and some Duo Glue. And I still have not figured out how to get these on and make them look decent, but I have to practice because I have a military ball coming up soon. But anyway, that is my collection. So, what do you think? That is my personal collection of makeup. I hope I didn't take too much of your time, but I just kind of wanted to explain some things and like tell you what a few of my favorite things are and just kind of have a little fun. I hope that is a cute little get to know me and I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments down below. Smash that subscribe button and thumbs up for me. Thanks, see you next time.